7.30 now on this Wednesday morning, June 27, 2007. A scorcher on tap here in the Northeast today. Hopefully the folks outside have dressed for the weather. Meanwhile, back inside, a very cool Studio 1A. I'm Meredith Vieira alongside Matt Lauer. Coming up in just a moment, the bizarre death of a popular wrestler. Police say he took his own life after killing his wife and their son. Coming up, the strange messages that he sent his co-workers after that crime. Then if you... We will begin with a crime that has rocked the wrestling world. Police say pro wrestler Chris Benoit killed himself after murdering his wife and young son. And now world wrestling entertainment officials have revealed just what Benoit had to say to them after he took his family's lives. The story now from NBC's Ron Mott. Chris Benoit. In the ring, it was a family affair. Chris Benoit, his wife and manager Nancy, nicknamed Woman, and their seven-year-old son Daniel. But that picture of bliss turned deadly over several days last weekend at their suburban Atlanta home. Mr. Benoit, possibly Friday, uh, had uh, murdered his wife uh, by asphyxiation. Uh, sometime shortly after that, on into the early part of the weekend, uh, the same for his son, Daniel. The seven-year-old was found suffocated in his bed. Police say at least a day after the carnage began, Benoit hanged himself in the basement. There was a Bible placed at the, b beside the, the body of each of the victims, and I thought that was somewhat bizarre. According to the WWE, Benoit called co-workers five different times on Saturday, most likely after the murders, explaining why he was not in Texas on the wrestling tour. First, he said he was tired and had overslept, but he ended the phone call by saying, I love you, which the co-worker thought was out of context. He told another co-worker his wife and son had food poisoning and were throwing up blood. He needed to take them to the hospital. Then early Sunday morning, he sent out five different text messages to co-workers using his wife's cell phone and his own. Four times he messaged the family's address, once texting, the dogs are in the enclosed pool area, garage side door open. Neighbors say Benoit mostly kept to himself. Shocked. I mean, you never dream anything like this would happen in your neighborhood, let alone across the street. Benoit is the latest in a string of professional wrestlers to die prematurely or from unnatural causes, renewing questions about what goes on behind the scenes and whether pro wrestling's culture contributes to such tragedies. Police found no suicide note, but did find anabolic steroids in the house. What people don't talk about are the problems with uh, psychological or the psychological issues. The people that have uh, the, quote, ro roid rage, end quote, are the problems with uh, mood swings or depression. One of the greatest... In a statement, the WWE said it is entirely wrong for speculators to suggest that steroids had anything to do with these senseless acts. The WWE says Benoit tested negative for steroids in April. WWE Commissioner Vince McMahon said little about Benoit in introducing Tuesday night's wrestling fair on cable TV. Tonight's show will be dedicated to everyone who has been affected by this terrible incident. This evening marks the first step of the healing process. Tonight, WWE performers will do what they do better than anyone else in the world entertain you. So while fans absorb another loss, pro wrestling is once again under a spotlight of scrutiny. For today, Ron Mott, NBC News, Atlanta.